man, it's been so long since I recorded, man. But I got a whole bunch of updates in store for y'all, man. So be sure y'all following me on IG. Um, you can follow me at DB the producer underscore. It's DB the producer. Everything spelled correctly. Um, underscore at uh IG. Or you can follow me at Dream Loud Co. That's Dream Loud Co. Or you can follow my uh production team, man. Noisy neighbors. That's what y'all know me from. Um, but I got a lot of updates in store, man. But Today, 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 new update with Machine Man, and I'm gonna show y'all how I run my clips and my beat production, man. So come on, let's check it out. Can you turn that down, please? What's up, my Machine family? Hey, clips. What is that? New Machine update? Man, I thought I was the only one excited. I know y'all excited. I've been watching a lot of videos on clips, man, and how other people use it. Um, but I just don't use it the same, man. So I just want to show y'all how I use clips in machine for my beat production. Um, so first off, man, I want to start by telling you guys pretty much what clips are. Uh, clips provide flexibility within your production. Um, it allows you to use it um as a linear doll like finally we finally got machine as a linear doll and with clips it just added flexibility to where i can add uh transitions and like solo parts um so like i may hear a verse and you may want to add some stuff to it but i'm gonna show you how i use it so come on in let's check it out so i use clips for transitions um secondly i use clips for soloing i'll show you how to do that and i'm gonna be doing it all from the machine studio <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna let y'all take a listen to this beat I made and we're gonna go into clips. Here we go. is the track now i'm going to go ahead and go into showing you guys how i use uh clips um within my machine all right so there are some parts uh in this song to where i feel like transitions can be used um and some solo parts because there's some empty parts in the song um but this is not a full beat tutorial but um so what i'll go what i'm going to do is i want to add a transition from the uh intro break to the verse and how I would do that is I like to make groups for my transitions, right? And I'll label it transitions. Now, y'all know me. I love to label everything because then that way I know what's what. Um, so from here, let's go and add. I'm going to go to this uh, click track pack. Let me see. Where is it? Reverse symbol. So from the intro uh, break to the verse, I hear a transition. So what I'm going to do is create a clip. That's going to allow me to um, make my transition. So what I'll do is I'll first double click right here. As you see, I just made a clip. Take this reverse symbol and add it directly on this sound, right? So now it's in the sampler. But what I'm going to do is take it from sampler to um, audio. And the reason I do that is because I want my clip to be in sync. So as you see, this clip is too short for this uh for this uh sound so what i'll do is i'll stretch out the clip to kind of be as long as the sound is right and then what i'll do is if i zoom in i can move the clip where i want it where i want it you know 
So I want this, and surely what I can do is take this off of one bar, take the grid off, and I can slide it where I need to. So what I'll do is, as you see, 8, 4, then 9, that is right here at this bar. I can actually zoom in here as well. And right at 8, 4 is when this uh, symbol is going to start playing. I want it to go like right at, let's see, right about here. Right in the middle of 9. So it's going to build up. It's going to hit directly at 9, then fade out. So let's check this out. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. But as you can see, I've added my transition. Now, in machine before pre the update, man, I used to have to make a whole pattern, put the clip like right at four, three, and then have that pattern inside my intro break, um, intro break section. I used to hate that. But now I can just take this section, take that piece, and slide it right under just like I would in Logic. So now uh, I have this clip directly on the section where I need to go. So I'm going to let you listen to it again. So that's how I will use it for transitions. And from there, I'll go ahead and actually, uh, I'll hold Alt or Option. I'm on the Mac. And drag this clip to pre-hook right for the pre-hook and now just create a new clip as a matter of fact i don't want to do that all right so from here i'll go ahead and take this clip and i'm gonna drag it i'm a whole option i'm on a mac i'm a whole option and drag this clip over right to the pre-hook area. I want to go ahead and click over so I can see it there. And what I want to do again is put it right at 33. Right there. So then from there, I can hit. So that's one way of using clips or one way that I like to use clips. Another way I like to use clips is like for uh, soloing. So another way I like to use clips is for soloing. Now, I don't have my keyboard, but luckily I'm able to use machine to uh, use it as a keyboard. Since I know my scales, I do know the notes, but we can also go here to where it says type and change it to blues. So I'll go ahead and add that into my verse. So I'm going to double click on the verse to start a clip. I'm going to stretch it out to the whole pattern. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put my grid back on. I stretched out the clip, and I'm going to put that uh, into my verse. And from there, I'm going to add my solo in the verse. verse section first switch so let's check so that's how I'm gonna do it um, from here I'm gonna go ahead and hit record and I'm gonna add my the blues run into my clip all right here we go so there we go and if I go to the clip there is my solo. Now I can end it. Since I got this grid on, let me take this grid off. 
All right, there we go. And I can start it right where it started. So here we go. And as I say, I like to label. So as I just double click on clip and I can change it. So I'm going to put piano blues solo. Another piano solo uh, right before the pre-hook comes up or in the pre-hook. So I'll add another piano solo inside. Let's see exactly where I want it. So I like that piano solo in the entire pre-hook. So let's start a little bit before and stretch it all the way out. And I'm going to go ahead and start me a solo. started my clip with soloing all throughout the pre-hook so I can start it right when I start it that's close enough and I can end it right before I ended my solo now let's call this pre-hook piano solo There we go. Now I showed you guys two techniques of how I use clips. I've showed you how to do a transition and then I showed you how I use it for soloing. I hope this helped you guys. I hope you guys learned something. If you did and these videos do help you, please let me know in the comments. You know, I always read my comments and I always answer back. Not only that, but please subscribe to the channel um, uh, to keep up with my videos. Also, Make sure you hit that notification bell. Let you guys know when I upload a new video. From there, man, I enjoy making a new video for you guys. But until then, I'm out. See you later. Can you turn that down, please?